Hi, Josh here from Traffic is Gold, and today I want to talk to you about on-page optimization, and this will be part of our SEO or search engine optimization series moving forward. Today we're going to look at the anatomy of a well-optimized page, so let's jump right in. For this video sample, we're going to go ahead and use a site that is optimizing for the word yoga mat. So let's go ahead and open the source code to see what's going on behind the scenes. Okay, a first word of advice for, for optimizing your page, the number one thing you want to concentrate on is the title tag, which can be found right here. First of all, make sure you have a title tag. And second of all, we will show you right now how to optimize it. Now you should try and optimize the title tag for one keyword or phrase per page. So in this case, it's yoga mat. I, you don't see the name of the store or other things like Pilates mats or fitness equipment or exercise balls or whatever else that might be sold on the site. You should try to optimize each page for one keyword or keyword phrase only, in this case, yoga mat. Next, in the keyword section, make sure you have keywords that are relevant to your page and they also show up on your page in text format. This will help to avoid keyword stuffing issues that might occur if you use keywords that do not show up on the actual page here in some form of text as an example. The next tag you should be worried about is description. Now description tags are not used by Google in their algorithm. However, they can affect a site's CTR or click-through rate on the search engine results pages. So for example, if this page ranks number one in Google and has a very a good uh, description tag, people are more likely to click on it. When I say very good, I mean it talks about the actual page and it gives some sort of call to action or something that would make someone want to click on it, like a percent off or something like that. So again, the description tag doesn't help you rank, but it also helps you with the click-through rate once your page is ranked for a Google search. Lastly, you want to make sure that the keyword or keyword phrase you've chosen for this page shows up in what they call an H1 tag as close to the top of the page code-wise as possible. In this example, you'll see yoga mat shows up and that is an H1 tag. Now this is the part of our Easy SEO tip series and these are about uh, four or five little things you can do to, uh, to highly optimize your page. And again, in a later series, we'll get into the hard part, which is actually getting quality links back to your site for the term you want to rank for. Now, if you want more in-depth information about search engine optimization, please feel free to visit trafficisgold.com. We have a lot of information on SEO, and we'll be expanding this easy SEO series to a larger, more in-depth uh, video at a later date. So I hope that helps. Be sure to rate, comment, and share this video. And again, if you have a specific video or issue you would like created, please leave a comment on this page. I'll do my best to help uh, by answering that in a video. Thanks again.